I guess we lived in Northern Ontario, and I just believe that children became part of your life. So at five days of age, he had his first ski in the snuggly, and he was born December 20th, so it was Christmas Day. It was quite a, just a natural thing to do. And he's been skiing ever since. I guess we identified that he enjoyed sports when he was three years old. He used to line up and organize his friends in the neighborhood and he would create bibs and put them on and, and line up and organize racing around the house with little obstacles, etc. And he would have created these trophies from old bits of trophies and pieces of wood. And so he organized these events and he did that for a number of years until he was actually entered into real events. Sudbury has a great program where they have the Sudbury Fitness Challenge, so they have you know, a little mini bike race and swimming race and running race and ski race and paddling at different times throughout the year, and then it's a whole series. So I think that added to the, the love of this competition. And did he go in all of the races? Oh yes, he went in all of them. We all went in all of them. It was a family activity. You did it alone. There was children's distances and then adult distances. It's a great program. <laughs> Well, he loves to read, but a great deal of their time is on their days off, they'll go backcountry skiing, or they will go for a long mountain hike, or they will go cycling, and so many of his activities. He loves to uh, water ski, swimming, paddling, all, a lot of outdoor activities. He is a full-time athlete and has been for a number of years. That's great. That's great they have that. a long training, a long season. They often leave in October, early November for Europe and race until the end of March. And each time they have the month of April off. He's um, a bit unusual because he competes in everything from sprints, which are very short distance events, to 50k, which are long, and he's equally balanced to the skate technique or freestyle technique and the classic technique. Yes, he will be in five events in the wow. Olympics. So you're going to be here for quite a while? Watch yes, out. we're here for the whole duration, right through to the 28th. He would like to go to university, and I know his dream always was to go into medicine. He'll have to reevaluate that depending on how many years he continues to race. Um, he really would like, he likes the idea of sports medicine. And definitely science, though, is his, his love. He always likes to understand and wants a solution to things, and because he's been in sports and you always do have some injuries or his teammates have them, and he likes to understand all of the aspects and find a solution. So. Canada had a wonderful program whereby they provided four nights accommodation and bus shuffling up to your, the races and provided a wonderful setting for families to interact so you can meet the parents of athletes who are in a number of different sports. Just can't say enough to thank Petro Canada for this sponsorship. It's made a world of difference.